town on a Saturday night. What more could you want, I'm Frank? Why'd you have to break a date? Good job plays hell with the social life. Jefferson just made first grade. Yeah, I know. Well, he'll be out looking to buy a couple of shiny new suits, won't he? I've been in the job six months longer than he is. You'll get there, Frank. When? One week before retirement? <laughs> it's not a race, you know? You, you just do your job. Maybe if I did it in narcotics, I'd make first grade. Mm -hmm. Guys in the papers all the time. Big drug bust, millions of bucks. High profile, it's the only way to get anywhere in this job. Well, there's the breaks, isn't there? Maybe. But I don't have to like it. How long has she been up there? A few minutes. I think she's gonna jump. I'm going up. Central, this is unit 1209. Stay away from me. Just take it easy. I just want to talk with you. You don't know. You don't understand. I know that none of this makes any sense. Yeah, nothing makes any sense. Nothing. Can't you see that? Animals. They call themselves people. <laughs> Not human. Do anything. Oh, wait. My name is Kevin O'Brien. You got a name? Hope. Hope, huh? It's a good name. It's old-fashioned. It's inappropriate. Well, maybe your folks didn't think that. They live in the city, huh? Maybe we give them a call. I don't want them here. I don't want them to know. What would they think if they were to know? Yeah, that's not fair. Of course it's not fair. No, it's fair. Give me your hand. Oh, listen, you don't want this. <laughs> Look, whatever you need, we'll get it for you. Whatever help you need, we'll, we'll get it for you. Come on. Hope. Oh. cop spends most of his working life looking at the results of violence. He gets there, cleans up the mess, and moves on to the next bleeding body. Most times, just a little too late. One step behind the dying. Every now and again, there's a chance to get to the body before it starts bleeding. To get it together before it is a mess. There aren't many of those. And when one of them slips away, it hurts. Maybe it hurts a little too much. An eye opener. Why not? I'll write you a book about it sometime. Oh, I heard about that girl. It was a tough one. Tougher on her. Well, it wasn't your fault. Yeah, right. I was just the guy standing there. That's exactly right, Kevin. He was there and you tried. I was two inches away from her when she went off the ledge. She slipped right through my fingers. You did everything you could. I don't know that. How, did, how do you know that? <laughs> yeah.
If I'd done it right, you'd still be alive. Kevin, come on. I gotta go to work. This might be a good time to take a couple of days off. I wouldn't change anything. Background on the jumper. How is Kevin handling it? He'll be okay. It's so damn close. A few inches lower on the wrist. That's what he said to Inches, and she'd still be here. Sure glad it wasn't me. Could spend a lot of nights rerunning that one in your head. Kevin can handle it. You're damn right he can handle it. Okay, now that we got that settled, let's can the gossip and get some work done around here. Like this armored car holdup which we got absolutely nothing on. Because it belongs to Mid-North. Well, the commissioner seems to think since there were two guards blown away and a half a million dollars cash taken, it's everybody's. So let's shake some branches. Now, the chief's passing along the word that he wants this one bad. We haven't got enough to do. We got to start handling Mid-North cases. <coughs> Hey, we're lucky. This is hot. I mean, I got a good feeling on this one. A feeling? There must be something he ate. Right, did you get something? Hope Morrison. It's a model, 19. Just signed a big deal with the Harrison Agency. Was that supposed to mean something? <laughs> it means she was on her way to the top. Money, fame, the works. They don't come any bigger than Harrison. Drugs? Nothing in her blood. Alcohol? Coroner's report says that girl went off the building cold sober. Nineteen years old. Just getting a big break. And she goes off the roof. Why? Yeah, they're all a little strange. Maybe she had a fight with her boyfriend. Or somebody else's boyfriend. People get something in their head, they do it. It's not good enough. Nothing good about it. Ever heard of Eddie Hillman? Yeah. A couple of guys say he's connected to this armored car thing, and suddenly he's like the invisible man. I like to grab him and dance all over his head. You should turn right up here. And you're really on top of this. Here? Yeah, it won't be long. You did all you could for it, Kevin. Did I? You want to find Hillman? Go look for him. So how are we going to hook up? I'll find you. They're beautiful, aren't they? Hope didn't like lilies very much. I suppose whoever sent them didn't know. We didn't know very many of her friends here. Her father and I moved here from Sault Ste. Marie three months ago. Mr. O'Brien. Oh, policeman. We wanted to call and thank you, but... Did she say anything about why? Why she didn't? That's what I can't understand. Did we? Mother. Come on, don't do this to yourself, please. It's confused me with Hope, Detective O'Brien. 
it's not hard to figure out. There's quite a resemblance. So when you tell Harrison that, my sister, she got further modeling in six months than I got in six years. A lot further. Maybe too far. a good girl. Uh, I know how stupid that sounds, but it just happens to be true. No drugs, no alcohol, no nothing. She hadn't lived here long enough. How long have you lived here? Too long. Who's Eric? Eric. Your mother, she mentioned him. Oh, she probably meant Eric Lawson. I hope knew him back home. Was there any kind of problem she had with him? Well, they were going to be married, but that was a long time ago, and it didn't have anything to do with what happened. Were you too close? We were very close. We shared an apartment. I was managing her career. Well, what happened? I don't know. I know that probably sounds stupid, too, but I just don't know. Terry. Hello, Anton. Trying to call this a suicide. When did you start investigating suicides? About the same time that you started reading coroner's reports. Why don't you leave these people alone, O'Brien? Detective, there's really nothing for me to tell you. My sister's dead. That's all I know. That's all anyone will ever know. I'm gonna know why. been two of us, we'd have Hillman now. So you could have waited. Yeah, we wait and somebody else gets him. Frank, worse things have happened. Well, he's sure as hell not going back to his place. Got any ideas? Yeah. Halloween mask, 295. How about it? Boo! Oh, sorry. All right. Don't freak out. Right now. My God. Tina, what are you doing? Put this on, will you? No, I, no, uh, I, I don't want to... I'm trying to scare some people. Come on, help me out here, please. We got rent money to make by this week. Halloween mask, $2.95. Honey, put it on. Whitey, you were supposed to call us. Call you? What are you talking about? Didn't you give him the message? Yeah. Whitey, I told you. So what'd you find out about Hillman? Hey, come on, Maya. Let, let me just handle a couple of customers here, okay? I'll be right with you, all right? Okay. Hey, fill us in right now. Hey, look, I'm taking a killing here, O'Brien. Please, I got masks to sell. I haven't sold anything all night long. We've got to find out about Eddie Hillman. Hey, look, you and the rest of the city. Well, they don't have you helping them. Look, there is no word on the street, okay? I mean, uh, nobody's seen this guy in days. What about Hope Morrison? You find out anything about her? Hope Morrison? No, I know a Terry Morrison. What about her? Well, she used to be one of Anton's privates when he was doing his pimping thing, all right? I mean, uh, he moved up, she moved up with him. Nice mask, Whitey. Too, you'd be great as Beauty and the Beast. At least I can take mine off. You know something, though? I think that Gambon guy's got a point. Kevin? 
Got something on your jumper. She got an advance from that modeling agency, a big one. And? And the day she jumped, she took 5,000 of it out in cash. We only found about 30 bucks in the body. So where the hell's the rest of the money? We haven't been able to find anyone who can even make a guess. Think someone was shaking her down? Sounds like drugs to me. I want a complete check on her. Find out if there's any place she could have moved that money. Frank, run her through records. See you in a minute, Kevin. Is this all you got? That and the money? Still seems like a suicide to me. I don't have a reason for her going off that roof. Maybe it's like Frankie said. It happened. Why don't you let Colby and Carson run this thing down? I was up there with her. They weren't. How far are you going to carry this thing? I'm just looking for an answer. What you're doing is blaming yourself, Kevin. What do you order me to drop it? I'm just advising you as a friend to let someone else run this thing down. Fine. Kevin, take the night off. That's an order. Hey, what about Hillman? Jam ball. Who? Yeah, yeah, put him through. Whitey. Yeah, hang in a second. Yeah, go ahead. Uh huh. Yeah. Got it. Great. On our way. Call Freddy. Let's go. I've been dreaming. Oh, it's more like a nightmare. Oh. 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 Are you going to be all right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm used to bad dreams. You know that's not what I mean. I think maybe I'm getting to the end of the line. <sighs> Be silly. <sighs> it must have been horrible watching someone die like that. She was 19. I know. 19 years old, and she wanted something, and I didn't do it right. You couldn't have. You couldn't have done anything more than you did, not then, not ever, Kevin. Something in her life let her down, and it wasn't you. Yeah. Yeah. I think I've been at this too long. <laughs> so what are you going to do, retire and take up gardening? <laughs> I could do without the gardening. You're not quitting. Everybody has to sometime. You're serious. Tell me you don't like the idea, huh? Hey, I'll be with you. Whatever you want to do, you know that. this one some more time. If you want to quit, just make sure you do it for the right reasons. Yeah, yeah I will. You're making a dead gap for me? Larry Malloy. All right. Been around the blocks a couple times. Yeah, I'll say. 72, armed robbery, convicted. 78, suspicion of armed robbery. 83, armed robbery again. That guy must have been really in a rut. Check out the known associates. Eddie Hillman. Looks like they go back a long way. Oh, yeah. They used to shoplift together. <laughs> well, the success, the bullets found in Malloy are from the same weapon used on the guards in the armored car. Bingo. We get Hillman, he'll be dying to spill his guts. Yeah, we get him. We'll get him. How's Kevin, Frankie? We haven't been uh, communicating much lately. Frankie! I see you a minute. Kevin's still following up on this Morrison thing? Yeah. Gonna drive himself nuts. I don't know what the hell's the matter with him. Yeah, I'll put in a few more years and uh, you'll know, Frankie. I've done enough time in the job to know you lose your distance. You're in trouble. Distance closes in, Frankie. You see enough homes broken up? You see enough kids lying in the morgue? Maybe you'll get to the point where you feel the same. I hope not. Me too. Terry wants to give everything away. Finish with all this. I keep wanting to understand why it happened. That isn't going to bring her back, is it? Well, it might make it a little easier to keep going, I guess. You don't have any idea what you could have done with that money? No. Hope wasn't extravagant. She didn't care a lot about things. I can't imagine her spending it on herself. And she wasn't in any trouble, as far as you know? I talked to her on the phone every day, all the time, Detective O'Brien. I would have known if she was worried or... But I just can't understand it. Last time I talked to her, she seemed so happy, excited. 
I even thought. You thought what, Miss Morrison? Well, that she might be getting back together with Eric. She took it pretty hard when they split up. Has she seen him? No, I don't think so. She said she heard from him, something like that. And where does he live? I don't know. Out west? I don't think Hope knew where he was either. Well, Hope could have found out where he was, right? Maybe. I I'm not sure. doing here? Uh, checking out a few things. My sister's things? I told him we wouldn't mind. Well, you were wrong. Don't you think it's hard enough as it is without this? Without you grubbing through my sister's things, upsetting my mother? You have no right. I'm trying to find out what happened to your sister. We know what happened to my sister. She committed suicide. Now, if I can accept it, so can you. It's OK, Terry. I'll, I'll straighten up in here. I'm sorry to trouble you, Mrs. Morrison. Ten Eleven Shane, that mean anything to you? It's the building your sister jumped from. You know anyone who lives there? No. What do I have to do to get you to leave? Is that you talking, Miss Morrison, or Lou Anton? Lou had nothing to do with this. Well, he wasn't too fond of the police. Thought maybe some of it rubbed off on you when you were as special to him. That was a long time ago. You'd hope. Start out the same way. Hope had nothing to do with him. So you took care of her? Damn right I took care of her. Not that she needed it. Maybe she did. Well, you're a little late with your help, O'Brien. Maybe you should have been a little bit more helpful up there on that roof. I didn't put her up there on that ledge, but I'm sure as hell gonna find out who did. up to his neck in this armored car thing. Him and his buddy named Larry Malloy. They had a fight. Hillman killed him and ran. We get Hillman, wave the homicide under his nose, and he'll give up the rest of the guys, huh? What do you think? I think you need Hillman. So let's go get him. A weasel like that doesn't have too many places to hide. Ready? 10, 11, Shane. I want a list of everyone who lives in that building. I want to know if they're connected to Lou Anton, Terry Morrison, or Hope Morrison. It's a big building. And you better get started on it. <laughs> I guess I should know when you're not going to let go. Says here, Hillman had a girlfriend, Cherie, Sherry Ellis. Anyone talk to her? How is she connected to the suicide? No, we haven't found her yet. Well, let's go. That's the Lanton's place. Hillman's file said his girl was a pro. Didn't you read that? Yeah, but it didn't say she worked for Anton. No, well, Ernie Witt doesn't play for the Yankees either, but you can bet Billy Martin knows who he is.
Mr. Anton's busy now. Maybe you could uh, leave a card or something. Yeah, sure. I'd just like to make sure that he gets it. Hey. Hey! Hey! This is a private office. Nobody's allowed in here. All right, Teddy, forget it. What do you want, O'Brien? Information. I don't know anything about the Morrison kid. I didn't ask you about the Morrison kid. We're looking for Sherry Ellis. Could be she's calling herself Angel these days. Looks like a talented lady. Don't know her. What about you? <laughs> you want information? Try 411. Oh, hold it, boys. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, it's a small world. Maybe, uh, maybe I could help you with this. And uh, maybe you can lay off Terry, huh? She's a little upset right now. See if the girls could find her. Do it! I'm always happy to help the police. Someone was shaken down Hope Morrison. I am already helping you out. Well, help me a little more. Five thousand in cash. She took it out of her account the day she died, and somebody's got it. Don't know anything about it. I think you do. I think she was working for you. A special, huh? One of your privates, like Terry used to be. And somebody found out about it. And they were blackmailing her. Hope never worked for me. I think she did. No way to start a new friendship based on lies, is it, Anton? Huh? Okay, okay. I, I had a piece, 15%. It was strictly for the modeling thing. I was bankrolling her ever since she came into town. Strictly legit. You could check it out, O'Brien. You can bet I will check this out, Anton. Cost me a bundle when her face hit the pavement. I'll get you the contract. It works. Got a girl out here who thinks maybe she knows this angel. You told me to ask. I should talk with this girl. Come on. Scared. I'm scared enough. You got something stuck in your throat. You I can... spit it out, Frank. You think, uh, you ever think about writing any of this down? Writing what down? This, what we do. Come on, you know, the life, the times of a street cop. A book. You've heard of books, haven't you? Yeah, that's what they had before TV, right? Oh. Your dull book. You sat in the car, watching Empty Street for two hours. Now we will knock him dead. Come on, we do lots of other things. Yes, yeah, we make phone calls. Could be a phone book. <laughs> Those cars. You think Anton's lady's lying about Hillman's girlfriend living over there? Uh, that looked like Hillman to you. Showtime, boys. Check out the action on the street. Got him. I don't do homicide. Your pal Malloy turns up dead after a meet with you, and you want us to believe that you're not involved? Well, I haven't seen Larry in months, man. Hey, we check these things, Eddie. You think we make up this crap? You what? shouldn't have used the gun from the car. Hold up, Eddie. It ties you to two more homicides. What car, John? What are guns? You know, what do I know from guns? You know, first you point, then you shoot. And then you do a lot of time. Don't do this to me, huh? You give us something, maybe we'll give you something. Well, I got nothing. Look, you got to believe me. I didn't have anything to do with this. Kevin, can I see you a minute? Like a coffee? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Me too. 
what you're telling me is that we're holding this guy because he was in the vicinity of a homicide? What I'm telling you is that he knows something about the robbery and he's scared to death. A little more time, he's going to spill his guts. What am I going to do about his lawyer that is sitting in my office? Stall him. What? Charlie? You've got half an hour, Kevin. Don't underestimate yourself, Elaine. Kevin. <laughs> There's a list of the tenants in the building that Hope Morrison jumped from. I thought you'd like to be made aware of that. Give Frankie a hand, will you? Okay. I can't do hard time anymore, Jambone. You know, I'm too old for that. Should have thought of that before you and Malloy got divorced. Oh, man. man, give me a break, will you? Thanks, buddy. <sighs> oh, it would be a long night. Nuts. I got nothing to say to you about Hope Morrison. I don't know any Hope Morrison. Sure you know Hope Morrison. She jumped off the roof of this building. Now, hey, me. What are you doing? Come. Let me go! I'm a citizen. What about my wife? Come on, man. Huh? Ah. Let's go get a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Maybe they, they knew. They knew I was scared, man. See, so, so I, I, you know, maybe they thought I was going to give up, give them up. Enjoy the view. This is crazy. I mean, not look, huh? look. What do you think it takes to jump, huh? How bad do you think you have to feel? I didn't know anything about her. We were shaking her down, Teddy. <sighs> Man, I'm telling you. She jumped off this building right here. <laughs> and her money was in your bank account. Larry, he tried to waste me. You know, he was wrestling around with his gun. And then what? It was self-defense. Yeah, you know. The stupid thing just went off. Come on, you expect me to believe that, Eddie? Well, that's the truth, That's man. not the truth, Eddie. Oh. And you're not looking. Oh. You're not looking. Come on. Come on. It wasn't like that. Oh, man. Look. Nobody's gonna buy it. Look, man. Come on, Eddie. Uh, I'll, Come I'll, on. I'll give you some of the names of the guys in the sticker. All of them. I stole there's some information that did all of it. All right, tell me. What kind of information? What kind of information? I told her what happened to her boyfriend. That's it, I swear. Yeah. What? What? I, I told her. Who killed him? Tillman's jerking us around. There's three of them in the warehouse. Yeah, they're heavily armed. They haven't got a hell of a lot to lose. So I want plenty of backup. We'll do this by the book, Lieutenant. Colby, I want you to go to the rear here with some uniforms. Freddie, there's an exit here on the side. This is where I want you to set up. And Frankie, you and Kevin, you go to the front with some other uniforms. Now let me know when you grab them. Frankie. Yeah? Kevin called in a while ago. He wanted a sector car to pick up a suspect. He wants you to meet him at Anton's. You coming, Frankie? Thanks. It's just another night of wonder in the city. In the city. You wonder if you will survive in the city. In the city. Keep one eye on the man elected and another around the one selected. Yeah.
Ready, Freddy? Yeah, we're ready. Give us a couple of minutes. All right, guys. Let's move. We're moving Freddy's ready. Uh, I didn't expect you back so soon. I don't have the contracts yet. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Gary and Anton for killing Eric. <laughs> You're nuts, O'Brien. Boyle rolled over. He told me the whole thing. He's lying. I think a jury's gonna buy it. Was it, Anton? You have a thing for the girl? No, you got a thing for the girl, O'Brien, not me! Let's go. Move in. You've made one dumb move already, now you're making another one. I'm not going down on a phony homicide, O'Brien. No way. Killing Eric wasn't my idea. He was gonna marry her sister and cut off Terry's meal ticket. I'm not the only one who knows about this. Shut up! What do you think you're gonna get for this? Fifteen years? Fifteen years? You mean that much to you? I said shut up! Come on. Now he is gonna be our meal ticket out of here. I don't know, Mr. Look, Anton. We'll get out of the country. I'll take care of you. It'll be okay. Move it. just in time. Partners. Pick two people with a police department computer, stick them in a car together for hours, force them to deal with each other's obsessions, encourage each other's ambitions, even laugh at each other's jokes. Reads like a recipe for disaster, doesn't it? So it's not surprising that it sometimes doesn't work. What is surprising is how well it sometimes does. How the grind of the job, the tension, and the pressure can combine to produce something rare and beautiful. A genuine friendship. Hand right there. <sighs> Thought I'd seen last of places like these. Greedy. Gets you every time. It wasn't for the money. I did it for hope. She was gonna make it. She had a chance to do something with her life. I wasn't gonna let her throw that away. I wasn't gonna let her waste herself on a nobody like Eric. Sit down. I just wanted her to be what I tried to be but couldn't. Excuse me. Hey, hey, what's the rush, Tommy? Hmm? Oh, Freddy's having a press conference. Upstairs, guys. Freddy. Yeah, yeah, he uh, busted those armored car robbers. Big, big story. Big. My armored car robbers? 